Building on some Battletech Tactica here, independent of your Lance, independent of pure mech or combined arms, the mission, the terrain, looking at some Tactica concepts that, that we can really utilize in any game. And the idea behind these concepts, and I'm applying my own terminology, you'll work on it, refine it, build it, and make it your own, is ultimately one of positioning. This idea that in the flow of the game, you're going to make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes as a player, and I'm going to try and minimize those mistakes. But um, more importantly, the mistakes that you make based on the mission, based on your list, based on opportunities, the duality of, one, do I have the ability as a player to see them? But more importantly, do I have the ability to capitalize on them? And that's what a lot of this underpinning core tactica yesterday, pushing that up to the Battletech playlist, and in the next couple of days, we're going to explore. We're going to kind of ask those questions and, and build that, that war chest, build that archive. So let's look at the idea behind a commando unit. Not the commando mech itself, although I did push that up about two weeks ago to my channel under the Battletech playlist, but this is, this is a construct. This is an idea. A commando unit is a unit, could be a mech, could be vehicles, could be anything, low battle value. The key to all this, a battle value, tonnage, sea bills, whatever currency you're going to utilize to pull you into the game, these concepts must be minimal, minimal battle value because they are, we're going to sacrifice them. And uh, again, I want the most of my battle value pushing forward, earning out there on the tabletop as opposed to, to sacrificing. That said, what I am sacrificing in the lower end battle value, I'm going to tie up more battle value, your battle value as my opponent with what you are bringing to the table. So a commando unit is one that just rushes forward right into the myth, middle of your opponent, right into the action, and uh, forces you to waste your time, forces your opponent to waste their time in movement, hexes, or shots. So let's kind of look at this. Battletech is a finite game. It's a finite game based on the mechs that you have. Let's just keep it simple right now for, for mechs. But again, this can apply to vehicles, combined arms. You select your mechs. You have a finite number of mechs on the table. Finite number of weapons that, in theory, can fire every turn. I say in theory because are they in range? Is there a target? What's the firing arc? And um, likewise, armor. External armor, internal armor, critical systems. Th there's a finite limit. You hit my Battlemaster enough, you hit my Stalker enough, you hit my Awesome enough, that that those bubbles are finite. They're going to get filled in, you're going to break through, and bad things are going to happen. So with a commando unit, the first thing is, if I can get you to shoot at that unit and waste shots at that unit, you are not stripping armor off of my other units. And likewise, my other units that are in range are stripping armor off of your units. So what can we, we build this out? What's true of most opponents, most wargaming opponents, and, and it makes kind of um, it makes sense, especially from a Battletech perspective, you, you, you shoot at what is closest. If it's close, I'm in range. So if I take that first light mech that comes to mind for no particular reason, I take that stinger and I rush it forward. If I'm in range, if you're in range, now's the time to shoot. Your medium lasers are in range, your SRM packs are in range, heck, even the machine guns in range. Yes, I've got mob, mo movement modifiers up from running, but you've got movement modifiers down because you didn't have to move and it's short range. This is as good as it's going to get. You blast away at it. Now, if I have no other units in the area to shoot back at you significantly, that's, that's a waste of my stinger. That's, that's free opportunity because I can't take advantage of it. So from the perspective of a commando unit, when I rush this unit forward, right, if it is this stinger and I rush this unit forward, in tandem, I need something behind it. So the idea is I need that stinger walking with a battle master, walking with a few other units. And then once all of my units are in range, or the significant weapon systems are overlapping, you know, once I'm in uh, long range or medium range for medium lasers, SRM packs, then I send the commando unit forward. Then I break it forward and literally park it. I won't say one hex because then I open things up to physical attacks, but I park it right there and I get you to shoot at it. 
and I get you to try and shoot those medium lasers and SRMs at that commando unit, worst case is you take it out, okay, it's absolute minimal zero, low to zero battle value. Best case scenario, because we're going turn by turn, uh, you pop off three or four medium lasers and a few SRM packs, maybe you do some damage, maybe you miss, and then you realize, look, I'm, I'm done. Well, that's great, because now the commando unit survived, and I'm going to do the same thing next turn. And on top of that, then I'm going to now be able to utilize my units moving up, the Battlemaster, the Rifleman, the Crusader, and, and pound you with other stuff. So what can we do as a commando unit that can move fast and has some sort of defensive value? Now, if we pull in vehicles, I mean, light mechs are a good opportunity for this, but in trying to keep battle value minimal... Um, if we're going to talk optimized, now obviously if you're playing uh, all mechs, and that's the focus of where you are in this moment in Battletech, that's that's just where you are. But if you're playing combined arms, vehicles, hovers, make fantastic commando units because they can fulfill all these roles. They have the speed to throw those modifiers up, and on top of that, low, low battle value, much lower than a mech. So what units can we take? That is the definition, that is the tactica of a commando unit, to buy opportunity. Now, bonus points, if possible, depending on your battle value, depending on, on where you want to go, if you can have a commando unit, and this is where things get interesting, and I'll leave it over in the comments, because we, we are, I'm trying to keep the battle value low, and full disclosure, Fritz is not good at keeping battle value low, because I like the big guns, I like the expensive toys, it's very, very hard. But there are some units that are on the lower battle value spectrum that can move fast, that can throw up the modifiers, that have a little bit of armor, but they pack a punch, a Saladin. Uh, let's take an Auto Cannon 20, mount it on just this giant inflatable tube, and, and slap on some Star Slab armor, and, and there we go. That has the triplicity, the triplicity of reasonable battle value. You're going to get point blank, so that auto cannon 20 works right away in. Big guns right there. And it, it, it's a threat that everyone's going to shoot at. So in this example, if I take a Saladin and I'm a little bit more aggressive, I don't want to rush it forward. Again, I don't want to rush it forward. Get point blank. Fire off the auto cannon 20. Maybe I hit. Maybe I don't. I hope I do hit. But then I'm, gonna, I'm going to eat every single return shot because your opponent has to. I park an AC-20 up there with mobility. Next turn, I'm going to be rear armor. You got to take those shots. I I'm not capitalizing on that momentum. I need some other units behind it that can shoot. So this way, it's a free round of shooting for my units and not a return, a round of return fire on those units from yours. Worst case, you take out the Saladin, you blow it up, and I gained a free turn. Best case is you don't stop it. And now I've got to deal with you have to deal with that AC-20, you have to deal with it another turn, and I've got my second line of units coming up. So based on the battle value, and Saladin's a little bit pricey for a commando unit, for an aggressive unit, but again, it's relative. In a higher battle value game, higher battle value game with more units, you can spend a little bit more. If we're looking at a lower battle value game, um, maybe it becomes lower battle value games, medium lasers with mobility is uh very very impressive fritz you could say your answer to everything savannah master yeah it is because it's just uh, again just this medium laser with a lawnmower engine on an inflatable tube just the kind of appearance of armor but there is none absolute low battle value and in a lower battle value game that's a great commando unit because if you could take two or three for the buy-in then you can zoom up there. You've got the mobility of moving hexes to protect you. You can probably get rear armor in the movement arc. And in a lower battle value game, lights and even mediums, rear armor, if I can potentially hit you with two or three medium lasers, that's that's got a little bit of bite. So again, adjusting for that battle value, turning it over to my fellow mech warriors, my fellow mech commanders in the comments, what makes a good, good commando unit that is low battle value, is expendable, is expendable, don't tell that to the pilot piloting it, and can capitalize on your second line, your second tier of mechs or vehicles coming up to work in tandem to create that opportunity.